Are the cops in America really as bad as what the media portrays them out to be? Yes and no. Not all cops are bad, and the bad ones aren't bad all the time or to the same degree. But there is an underlying issue with the culture, training, and attitude of cops. It's bad enough that if you pay attention it actually shows up in the police shows meant to make cops on the job look good. There are good people in the police. But if the system itself is on the rotten side, it's only a matter of time before the good ones leave or go rotten themselves. If the reports of abuse by NYPD cops are representative, about five of cops are responsible for almost all the problems. Except that the rest of them cover up for the bad apples for a host of reasons, not the least being the culture of the so-called thin blue line. I've never committed a crime but the police always treat you like you have. I used to draw blood for donations and would go to police precincts. The amount of times an officer questioned me like I was a criminal while we waited is too many to count. The couple times I actually needed an officer in my life, they did not help and didn't seem like they wanted to. I'm sure they are not all bad, but a lot of them are. Fascist assholes are inclined toward that profession in the US. I would say I've gotten a hell of a lot of leeway because of my skin color but I'm still uncomfortable as hell when I have interacted with them or in the rare occasions that I've had to call them. They only need the smallest excuse to flip the tables and arrest you, search you etc if they decide they want to fuck up your life. I try to avoid them like the fucking plague. When I went to Ireland they were friendly as hell and would chat with you. In the states they stand stiff and skin the area for a reason to fuck someone up. I have met a few friendly ones, but that was few and far between. For all the shit cops do that goes viral there's plenty of horrific stuff I'll read once and never see again. If that's the stuff they get caught doing imagine what they get away with. People who try to become cops to do better get stopped from becoming cops, people who score too high on IQ tests get stopped from becoming cops. They know what they are and don't want anything to stop them. Ed it takes about two seconds to google this shit and find the news articles. Depends a lot on who you are and where you live. America is huge. I'm gonna say yes. White female. Yes. They are usually douche canoes that have been given too much power and think they are above everything. Everything. It's that one bad apple spoils the bunch. If there is one cop who is a criminal, and no cops arrest him, that means every cop in that department is a criminal. It doesn't matter what else they do. They are criminals. Whenever I travel to the US I am always more afraid of being stopped by a cop than anything else. The media reports actual stories. They are just nipping at the bud because there are more out there. Some go in with good intentions. They either join in, turn a blind eye, or get out of the profession. Most cops are professional and courteous as their duties allow. However, the job can attract people who only want power. Also, local politicians can pressure cops to do dirty work for political reasons. Also, some cops are so desperate for promotions, they'll violate your rights in hopes of finding something to pin on you. Lastly, noble cause corruption is really common. When officers disagree with a court ruling, they might delay processing or lose paperwork or generally try to make you mess up in some way and get in trouble. This is mostly found in the prison system. For the most part, yes. They kill over a thousand Americans a year. Most of them unarmed, and disproportionately brown-skinned, and often even disabled people complying with their commands. They've killed more than a thousand of my fellow Americans, every single year, for over a decade. I don't know what service they think they are providing that is worth the lives of a thousand human beings a year. I can't think of a single service anyone could offer, that would make that trade worthwhile. Yes, I've never been been to jail but I've been harassed several times by them. It's get to the point when even one is near I have an uneasy feeling that they are looking for any reason to arrest you. If you stay out of bad areas, dress nice, drive a luxury car, are white, kiss the cops' asses they are pretty cool and it's kind of like you have your own personal security. If you get on the bad side of them and they know you don't have money or influence by the way you look, they will ruin your life. I have lived on both sides of the equation. 
main thing is show respect and stay the fuck out of bad areas, because it doesn't matter who you are if you're in a bad area. No, they are worse. Because the media love sucking cop dick. Yes. Like Catholic priests, you can't have bad apples in your ranks. As the good guys your job is to weed out the bad apples root and stem. Yes. Likely even worse. Think about the time before cell phones and social media. They literally did and still do get away with murder. They are supported by the government other members of law enforcement and are damn near untouchable. They are worse. Cops aren't there to protect you, only to enforce the law. They are not legally obligated to act to help civilians and are allowed in most states to lie to people to get confessions. They are also shielded heavily from personal accountability, even in cases of clear fault. There are some good cops but the system makes them practically invulnerable. It's only natural that it both corrupts and draws in the corrupted. There is no accountability, so the issue isn't whether any individual cop is good or bad but rather what's stopping them from losing their temper. Yes they are. I'm a white male and I've had plenty of really crappy interactions with cops that have absolutely no business being cops. Power tends to corrupt absolute power corrupts absolutely. Probably worse. There's a lot of copaganda in the news and media. From a distance, it looks as if the sheer numbers of police departments leads to some recruitment of completely inappropriate people once the culture is screwed, it takes a long time and effort to turn around. On the other hand, cops being constantly in fear of everyone carrying firearms can't help either. Do you happen to know a pit bull? A good friend of mine has one, she's a love ball, no joke. I've never seen her bark, in fact, she always cries and runs away when intimidated by another dog. Now, does that mean all pits are like that? No. I would not let any kid go near one. That is the best analogy I can come up with. My interactions with cops I'm not white have been pleasant. But subconsciously, I know shit can go south real quick, even if I don't do anything wrong. I would imagine each interaction with cops is like meeting a new pit bull. No, they are worse. There are very, very few good cops in America. Good cops are the exception, not the norm sadly. If you want to see how bad they can be a good example is what happened to Daniel Shaver. Crazy thing too is that he's white, imagine what minorities have to deal with. Far worse. Most media bends over backwards wording things to put cops in a good light and people on the other side in bad one so they can get the inside access to that sweet breaking news from friendly police and get more clicks and views. My ex-husband was a police officer and after he quit the force he became a different person. Much more relaxed and less aggressive. Several of my friends went into law enforcement after high school and it changed them. They became arrogant, aggressive and judgmental. I live in a part of the US with little crime so the change isn't because they are facing a threat every day. Not all cops are bad, but there is a systemic problem within law enforcement that needs to be addressed. I'm a 47-year-old white lady who drives a Volvo. I'm stereotypically privileged and I am deeply conscious and mindful of that fact I have never, not once had a positive experience with the police. I fear constantly for my black friends. The police in the US are rotten to the core. Yes. We have extremely bad cops. We have cops that cover up for the extremely bad cops. They are also bad cops. We have cops who want to report the bad cops. They get harassed, reassigned, fired or put in bad situations without backup. So we have a broken system. Which matches our broken infrastructure. And our broken medical care. And our broken elder care. But we are great at making billionaires and mega corporations richer. And we are great at making more DACA than any other country. Yes. The biggest gang in America is the Fraternal Order of Police. ACAB. I choose to exercise my Miranda rights. Yes and no. It depends on the context. Which the media can never be consistent with.